Hello everybody and welcome to another GPO tutorial. My name is Dare and today we're going to be talking about a very new game that we've all been looking forward to, Counter-Strike 2 and how to set up a server for it with GPO. So if you use the link in the description, you get 10% off your server. So to do this, what you want to do is head over to the GPO website, click on rent a server and then click on Counter-Strike 2 or search for it in the search bar. Then we want to like order say 10 slots or 12 slots whatever you want so usually a server would be like i don't know six or side whatever like that so um choose which one you want make sure you choose where you are so um you got australia china europe all that kind of stuff um so i would normally suggest click cl click on create your own server so for that we're going to go for 12 slots 30 days and i'm going to see Right, okay, so yeah. There is no uh, London servers for this one, so click on Europe, that would be the closest for me. If you're in America, it would be wherever you are, if you're Australia, China, or Japan, so on and so forth. Then we're just gonna click continue. And we're gonna hit the, your pay now button, whatever way you want. I'll use my credit. Once your server is set up, we'll continue. Okay, so once your server has set up, um, what you wanna make sure it does here is update. So once it's finished updating, then we'll move on to the next part. It should just go straight to offline, there it has now. So we're gonna click on basic settings straight away and we'll see here that we need to change the server name. Nice and easy as always guys, just you know, add in your own name like so okay 12 slots you can reduce that at any time to if you want to like knock it down to eight or whatever ten five aside whatever um your archon password change that to whatever you want um choose your game mode you've got uh, classic casual competitive wingman deathmatch and custom so for example if you choose custom we'll go through that in a minute but for now what we're going to do is put it on classic competitive. Server password, to so make sure people don't get in, just put whatever you want on there. Uh, make sure you remember it. Uh, your VAC anti-cheat, make sure that's on. You do not want the code debug for the FTP files. And then what map we want um, is up to you. You know, bit of Nuketown. Um, over here, we've got the bot settings. Now, if you're going to have bots on the server, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, your bot quarters, the number of bots that are going to be added. So if, say, you have 12 slots, add in, say, I don't know, six if you want an opposing say. So if there's only six of you, you can split it up, yada, yada. Um, but for that, I will leave that as zero. Bot difficulty determines on how good they are. Zero being absolutely terrible and three being absolutely amazing. Maybe. Um, your bot chatter, how often do the bots say things in chat? Now you can turn that off or you can just say radio, minimal or um, normal. Um, I'm gonna leave that off because I do not like my bots chatting. Bot join team will be any or terrorist or counter terrorist, up to you. For the Geo TV settings, enable, uh, TV enable, you can put yes and then TV enable will be like, for example, here will be like, say there. Um, and then the TVT title will be uh, their TV, for example, and then your max clients will be up to you. Um, the classic casual settings, you can uh, go for your friendly fire, your multiplay buy times, all that kind of stuff. Just go through it, set it up as you want. It's pretty simple. Classic casual money settings, now I would leave that as is unless you know what you're doing and you want to mess around with it. Moving over to the classic competitive settings, same as before, easily set up, you know, do as you want. Um, but if you're not sure what you've done and you've made a foo par on this, I'll show you in a second how to just get your new server and get it fresh, okay? It won't cost you anything. Uh, classic competitive money settings, deathmatch settings, all that. And then once you're done, just click save, okay? Your server will be loaded, you have your thing, your, your IP address can be up there. You can just click that little button and that's it copied. And then you can, or you can just click join your server like so. Um, then you just turn your server online and it's starting. 
Now there are an expert mode settings, which we will go into. So expert mode settings gives you a little bit more in depth menus and options to go through. If you don't know what you're doing, please do not mess around with them. Um, it may do your server a little bit more harm. Okay, once that's done, uh, you can head over to the file manager here. Uh, you'll basically just be able to look through stuff. If you want to mod your server at any point, you can upload files straight into it. Uh, you'll have the console section here, which you can actually apply commands straight from the website into the game. The workshop setting, um, you'll need an authorization key for this. So um, if you don't have one, you know, you just click this button, you'll get it and then you can apply it. So what you would do is just jump over. You need a domain name. So register a new Steam web app key. Um, yeah, I'm not in sure how that works, but, um, you know, I'm sure you'll work it out fine. But anyway, like I said, uh, with that one, if you want to add mods, we'll get into that in a different video. I'll have to do some research into it. I haven't even looked at that yet. For restarts, guys, as always, just put in the description here, daily restarts, like so, and then just click save. Make sure you set the time. The best time usually is... I'd say in the morning or when people are asleep. Okay. So to delete it, just click delete done for backups. Make sure you automatically back up your server. Um, and if here you can see, uh, if you want to store your backups automatically with a daily restart, please be aware that if you have to restart your server daily, uh, via a schedule, uh, via the restart scheduler, and if no daily restart yet, you can create one here. So let's see, for example, I want one at 4 a.m. and I'll just click confirm. And that will make an automatic backup of the server in case anything goes wrong with my settings. All right, moving on to the permission side of things. If you have a friend who helps run the server and you trust them, you can add their username here, their GPO username, and then that's it. Okay, um, For if you need support anytime, um, what you would do is right behind me, let me pull me off the camera, <laughs> is you'll see support here. You just click that and then you write a ticket and you'll get straight to it. Now, let's say for example, you have messed up your server. Okay, so what you wanna do is you've got your basic settings, you've got your change your slots, you've got restart and then you've got stop. What you can do if your server is really messed up and you've completely faffed all your settings, just click yes, delete like so, and then click this again, and then just type in counter. There you go. Okay. And then you just choose how many slots you want again and add. So don't forget guys, there's a link in the description that will uh, give you 10% off your server when you order it from, you know, GPO and from help from me, yay, whatever. <laughs> well, until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all hopefully soon.